All right, guys. So today I'm at the parking lot of Yamada Denki, which is a big chain, um, big box electronics retailer, kind of like Best Buy, kind of like Future Shop back in in Canada. And today I'm actually gonna go shopping for some appliances for my new place. Gotta buy a fridge. Gotta buy washing machine, uh, even a stove top, all that stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to find some good deals. It was really, really packed today. And let's go have a look. But actually first, before we go inside, guess what, I found like an awesome car just now. And if you can see behind me, there's a, it's, an, it's a Subaru Impreza STI S207, which is the super high spec performance mo uh, version of the, of the new uh, WRX STI. And, Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna switch to the front to the front camera, but this is basically one of my dream cars. I mean, look at that, especially in this color in yellow. It looks absolutely amazing. So it, it's really cool. I don't think you can find this car in Canada at least, or at least in this spec. So it's really awesome to see it. So uh, I'll take a quick few videos. Here we go. Look at that beautiful S207. It's got some awesome details. It's beautiful, functional wing. A huge performance exhaust, which I think are even bigger than the normal. WX STI quad exhausts. Oh, oh, this is a dream car right here. Look at that. It's just beautiful, guys. Wow. <clears throat> Super nice. Maybe just another couple shots from the front. I'm a huge Subaru fan. I was about to buy an STI before I got my, my Miata years ago. And hopefully one day, maybe I'll pick that one up. I think that one is probably my favorite uh, STI of all time. Um, so let's go into Yamada Denki. Hopefully we can find some good appliances. And I guess I just want to mention a couple things. First of all, sorry that I haven't been super, well actually I have been recording every day, but the editing is, it take, it's, it's becoming more and more time consuming because I'm trying to keep the production pretty high. And especially stuff like adding subtitles, it takes a long time. <laughs> so thank you guys for bearing with me and for continuing to leave awesome comments and you know, being really supportive of, of this uh, vlog. And yeah, it means a lot. And what else? So I think when I upload stuff, I'm gonna try to insert more clips, which might not be completely chronologically correct, or it might even be stuff like old footage that, you know, to make the vlog a little bit more interesting, to, find, to add some interesting uh, stuff to that particular episode. Uh, you know, we'll see how it goes as we go along. But yeah, thank you again for watching. And um, yeah, let's keep going. So I'm shopping for appliances and I walk by this toilet over here and look at that. Oh, it didn't do it this time. Oh, there it is, there it is. Automatic. Um, that is pretty sweet. Super high tech, look at all the options it has. It'll, it will massage you with water. It'll also shoot directly into your butt. <laughs> I'm scared to press these different options, you know. It's like, what is the nozzle clean? I guess it's just the nozzle to clean, not actually cleaning you with the nozzle, I hope. Um, different water pressure. And, and this, this mode is to uh, heat up the seat like the heat of the water if you want it like very hot <laughs> low heat wow very interesting I wish my bathroom was like this 
baller, but look at this. You can buy these uh, sets with the TVs and really, really nice shower heads. And it's a really nice baller unit. Thanks for taking. Okay, so this is pretty much the coolest, the coolest washing machine I've ever seen. Have a look at this. Okay, so at first I thought it was just like a, a unit where you can put your dishes and stuff. And I was like, okay, maybe if you pull this, how does it work? You can figure it out. But what you do is you turn it on, then you press this, and check this out. The whole thing comes down. The whole thing comes down. Put your dishes in there. You see a little light up here. Then. Once you finish putting all your dirty dishes in there, press up, and it goes up. How crazy is that? I've never seen that in Canada. Maybe if, you're, if, you've, got, if you've got a really, really baller place, but that's pretty cool. So in Japan, typically, the washing machine will be beside like the sink where you can wash your face, brush your teeth. And beside that will be the room where you can actually take a shower. Unlike back home, where you would have the uh, toilet beside the beside the the bathtub, in Japan usually it's in a separate room altogether. So, this little nice um, apartment or house shower room. Unlike my place, which is really really old. So it looks like a hotel inside. And then you would have your washing machine here. And this is where you would brush your teeth and stuff. Alright, next excellent Japanese product. You have what appears to be a penis holder. <laughs> Actually, it's not. It's for this thing, which is even more perplexing. Like, what do you suppose you would use this for? I'll give you a hint. No, actually, I'll just show you. For this. To, to shape your face, apparently. So... I'm gonna give it a try with the recommended usage. Maybe with many, many hours of doing this, I can reshape the contours of my face to make myself more aesthetically pleasing. I don't know. How many people have done this? I don't even wanna know. So I came back from uh, shopping and the, the space beside the SDI was open, so I decided to park my car beside it. And now we have a yellow party. Two happy yellow cars. That looks awesome. So I ended up buying a bunch of stuff on Amazon, but I think I'm gonna buy my fridge here. Unfortunately, I'm faced with a conundrum because I was thinking about this fridge which I can actually get for about $650. This is like, a, the price is kind of weird here. But the problem is, my stove is gonna be on this side. So if I open this up, you know, it'll be, like if I'm cooking something, I wanna get some the fridge. I won't be able to get it. But there is another, another fridge I was looking at. And it's this one. It opens from both sides. So that's pretty cool. The only problem is I'm not a fan of the color, so this is tough. I decided on my fridge, I'm gonna get this one. And it's amazing because this is the price they're offering at the store, but I looked it up online and it was it was uh, less than 700 bucks. So this was like 950. And I was able to find it for like 650, which is ridiculous. So it's pretty good, it's pretty big. Excited. It's like Costco sized. Alright. Let's do it. Alright, it's my new fridge. It opens both ways. How trippy is that? And two freezers. Wicked. Yes! I'm on my favorite ramen chain right now, and after a long day of fridge shopping, the best thing is a nice hot bowl of miso corn ramen. So this place is called Barikia, 
and it's really delicious. It's a chain, but I've only seen like three or four of them. I think I'm gonna go for this one, miso ramen. So it's got corn in it, it's super delicious. Let's go for that. All right, ramen's here. Delicious, delicious meat with corn. What I like to put is, I like to put moyashi, which is like bean sprouts. So bean sprouts on there. And this place is famous for garlic. So, put some garlic in here. Okay, time for a quick ramen lesson. Now, when you eat at a ramen place, or in fact, any Japanese restaurant for that matter, if you have chopsticks like this, which are wood, gonna break them right and if you, if you break it right down the middle it means oh not lucky <laughs> if it breaks in the middle it means you're lucky if it doesn't it means you're not lucky what you're never supposed to do is you never rub your chopsticks together because that's like disrespectful to the restaurant also um, let's see so I got I got gyoza here and to eat with the gyoza you mix let's see You would mix a little bit of soy sauce. Some vinegar. And a drop of this, this red stuff, which I think is like oil. A couple drops. And then you dig in. But first, I'm gonna dig into this uh, delicious Ramen. So before a meal you would say itadakimasu which means like literally it means I'm going to consume or I'm going to like partake in this uh, food. So here we go, itadakimasu. It's really good, it's really um, it's really rich, it's a little bit <coughs> It's uh, not salty, but it's, it's fantastic. And when you eat ramen, you're supposed to slurp it. You're not supposed to um, eat it quietly, like you would uh, eat soup back in Canada, back in the States. You want to slurp it, and the louder you slurp the noodles, the more it means, the more delicious it is. My favorite things about ramen is how soft the chashu pork gets. It gets really, really soft and tender. And if you don't eat it quickly enough, it kind of melts into the broth. And it becomes like a meaty miso soup. And the flavor is like really, really rich. And it really fills you up. So I really love ramen. I have it. Ugh, keep burping. Like maybe once every two weeks or something, but I should really go more because it's, it's really, really delicious. Delicious chashu pork. Yum, yum, yum. My friend's place, I just bought a microwave for 30 bucks, and look at that, it just fits into the Miata. Barely. It fits. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Today's word is Oskarasama deshita, which means thanks for your hard work. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oskarasama deshita.